Hi there, it's Adam Franklin and I'm here with Laura Fitton who's at Pistachio um, on Twitter. Thanks for joining us today, Laura. Um, I've got a question for you. I'd really like to find out what your, I guess, your daily ritual using Twitter is for uh, followers on our Morgan YouTube channel. Okay, great, great, thanks. Um, appreciate the opportunity. Um, so I use a mix of different tools and a mix of different types of interactions on Twitter. Um, I have a very simple single column Twitter client. It's actually called Twirl. I don't even know if you can download it anymore. It's a really old one. And I have that looking at an account that follows only about 700 people, but it's the people I really want to keep on top of what they're saying. And I use that as my study break treat, right? If I've just done a nice productive chunk of 45 minutes of work, I take five, 10 minutes and I catch up in the world and I see what's going on in the world, what my friends are up to, maybe what some journalist said that I want to reach out to, um, just kind of dip my toe in and keep current. Most of my actual tweeting and DMs and at replies and stuff like that, I actually am old school. I use Twitter.com. Mm -hmm. So I'll often have tons of different tabs open. Um, if I'm going to be reaching out to a journalist later, I make sure to read their Twitter page before I do so. If I'm going to be going to a meeting, same kind of thing. Um, if I'm going to a certain city and I want to see if my friends who live in that city or my business associates who live in that city are there, I go look at their tweets and see, okay, you know, oh, yeah, no, Chris is in San Francisco this week. So I use a lot of different ways at a lot of different times. Um, on my phone, it's more just to be able to keep up with uh, direct messages or app replies and make sure I've, I've responded to them in a correct way. Not correct, but in an appropriate way. And yeah. I'm trying to keep up the conversation. And what's a, what's a really good tip, I guess, for keeping in touch with journalists, given that we've just given a talk on how sure, to get Sure, sure. Um, I think the best thing to do is get a fairly targeted list, either set it up as a subset list on your Twitter account, or if you have a small enough group that you're following that you will actually be able to see people, just right at them in and follow them. Um, and just read their stuff. You know, go to their page on a regular basis. Keep up on what they're doing. And when you do see stuff that is genuinely interesting to you and you want to retweet it, retweet it in a way that they actually see that you retweeted it. This is simply done by refraining from hitting that retweet button. Just copy and paste the tweet, clean it up, type RT. Um, that way you're, you're, you're showing up on their mentions tab. Now, Twitter has updated the software so that you use the automatic retweet button. There is a notice sent out saying so-and-so retweeted you. But I don't know that everybody really pays close attention to those notices. So I still think the manual retweet is a better way to go. Um, that way you've got a couple very low-level, non-threatening interactions with the person by the time you actually do want to reach out to them. Um, just make sure you're, you're being relevant. You're not just... I mean, I have one guy, he's, he's doing it for various kind of spammy reasons, so I finally blocked him, but he was literally retweeting eight tweets a day, every single day, and he was retweeting me way more than anybody else. It was totally creeping me out. Why is he doing this? I finally went to his account and realized he posts a tweet every 30 seconds, so the only way he can get that many tweets is by retweeting lots of other people. So, you know, don't do that. But, uh, <laughs> but in, in normal, you know, non-creepy ways, you can get your name in front of the journalist a few times over time in a relevant, friendly, positive way. If they ask a question, answer it. I mean, there are plenty of opportunities to find a way in to open that relationship if you just are patient about it and read their stuff for a while. And sort of lead with that generosity and you were saying in the talk, give first and then... You know, Ideally, the you help them the first time you interact in some way, shape, or form. Ideally, you help them the first few times you interact in some way, shape, or form. And then maybe say like, you know, hey, you know, you don't follow me, but I had a question for you. Do you mind emailing me or following me back for a second or something? Awesome. Well, thank you very much, uh, Laura. Thanks really for the appreciate that. Adam. And where can, it. And where can people find out more about you? Uh, hubspot.com slash pistachio. Okay. Um, and the book is Twitter for Dummies. Awesome. But thank you're not a dummy. Thank you very much. Thank you.